So this is the iBoss Oceanus. It's an automatic wash, dry, and cure system for your resin prints. And iBoss was nice enough to send me this pre-production unit to check out and see what I thought of it. And the basic premise of this is to automate your wash and cure of all of your resin prints. And if you already do resin printing, you know that this whole process can be kind of messy and tedious at times. It has a pretty simple setup with two hoses on the back to pump either water or IPA into it along with out of it. But it doesn't come with a reservoir so you're going to have to figure that out on your own. For now I'm just going to use a container from another wash and cure system that already has IPA in it. And these hoses are a little stiff so they don't really like to stay in place. But after moving some stuff around I was able to get them to stay. So now let's actually put it to the test with these fresh prints right off of my BQ Pixel L. And from what I've seen all you need to do is put the resin parts inside and close it up. And all the controls are right here on the top so you can tell it how much to fill up, how long to wash, dry, and cure. And then once you have everything to your liking just push start. And once you do that it'll start pumping your washing fluid into it and once full, start its wash cycle. But if you open the lid, it will automatically stop until you close it again. And if you're wondering about the different fill levels, there are indicators on the inside of the machine that will show you how high it's going to go for each one. And with the washing cycle done, it pumps all the IPA back out. And then it goes to the drying cycle, which is a fan in the top of the unit that will just blow on your part to get all the IPA off of it. And then it will go into a curing mode, which you'll see a purple light right underneath the top. And again, if you open it, it will shut itself off automatically and restart when closed. And this does have a lot more UV lamps in it than the normal wash and cure systems that are on the market right now. But after all that, here's my finished part. And first glance, it looks like it came out really nice. Everything's all dry and I don't see any extra resin on here. And it's just the very bottom that still has some IPA on it. To make the supports easier to remove, I'm going to soak this in some hot water. And as you can see with heat, they pretty much just pop right off. But around some smaller areas, I still need to use some of the clippers to get stuff off. As I'm removing all the supports, I don't see any residual resin or any white spots where there was wet spots on the piece when it was curing. And to be completely honest, I didn't have high expectations for this. I really didn't think it was going to be able to clean everything, dry it properly, and cure it without having a bunch of problems. But these came out pretty much perfect. Especially with putting it all in there with the supports on it, which are kind of notorious for keeping uncured resin inside of their little nooks and crannies. And I'm definitely going to be using this a lot more in future videos, so if I do have any problems, you'll be the first to know. But with all of that said, I'm going to have to let you know the kind of bad news about this, depending on how you take it. This is a current Kickstarter campaign, meaning you can't buy one right this second. You can back the campaign and get one eventually, and at the time of making this video, there are still a couple of the early bird spots available for rewards, meaning that you can get one of these for 40% off of what retail will be. But anyways, that's all going to be up to you, and if you have any questions or anything let me know with a comment and be sure to check out their kickstarter campaign i'll have a link in the description so you can see all the info that i didn't get to in this video well thanks for watching and i'll see you guys next time bye